My name is Christian Griebler. We are here in the Benche Valley in Albania and we study groundwater. What you see here is the river, the river Benche, and we are standing on the gravel bar of the river. And what we are interested in is not what is in the river, but what is below our feet here. The river communicates with groundwater, so there's groundwater everywhere below us. And we have to dig holes, we have to access this groundwater with metal pipes, you can see that, and pumping to get access to the biodiversity which is in the underground. Maybe all of you know that the river is full of life. There's fish and there is a larvae of insects and many other organisms. But also the underground is full of life. They live in the sediments that are near the river. And the river water always goes into the sediments and out again. And this makes the water clean. So a colleague from Germany once said, the sediments is the liver of the river. So it cleans the water. And without the sediments, uh, in the neighborhood of the river, the water wouldn't be clean. So this is the bioreactor which yeah, degrades the organic matter, which keeps the fine sediments yeah, that are not anymore in the river. And you will see that later when we pump the water, it's turbid, it's brown, it's full of fine material because the sediments trap them. They capture them and keep them back so the water is clean. If we compare the quantities of fresh water we have, then all we see at the surface is 1%. 99% is below ground, it's groundwater, it's fresh groundwater, it's everywhere you go. Sometimes you have to dig 10 meters or in the Sahara 200 meters. But here, of course, close to the river, the groundwater is immediately below a couple of centimeters or meters. And the groundwater ecosystem is also full of life. These organisms, mainly microorganisms, are sitting on the sediment drains and of course they are the main actors in cleaning the water. They take the carbon out, respire it, mineralize it to CO2. But there's also higher organisms like small crustaceans, mites, worms and uh, we will later see one of these crustaceans, amphipods. They have also relatives in the surface water. And these amphipods, they help to keep the interstitial space open yeah? because they keep the pores open by digging yeah? and by eating small particle and organic matter. So this is their eco-engineering role in the subsurface.